Welcome back, everyone. This is a brief update on news from the oil market. Oil prices were seen steady in the early European morning on Wednesday after the commodity could be looking for further news updates to regain volatility or choose direction. We start with the Middle East, where sources claim that the US and Iran are in positive talks between them and some common ground could have been reached by the two sides in the previous days. The news came forth yesterday through some comments from U.S. President Donald Trump, yet he did not give in-depth information on the matter. What triggered a chain reaction was U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo comments that Iran was ready to negotiate over its missile program, a fact that Iranian officials rejected. Upon release of the news, the commodities prices dropped by 3.3%. We must allow some possibilities of the situation in the region to deteriorate further. Oil ships sailing near the Strait of Hormuz are undertaking additional costs due to the uncertainty that prevails in the area. These extra costs come from increased insurance costs that tankers are now subject to due to a war risk cover. Ship owners face additional costs of up to 200,000 US dollars of a single seven day voyage compared to the previous weeks, and this also could force them to reduce the time spent in the area, which could lead to a decrease of oil demand for the Strait of Hormuz and the Gulf of Oman. In addition, some oil tankers could choose to avoid uncertainty and turn to alternative sources for fuel. On other news, the American Petroleum Institute yesterday released its weekly reading that showed crude inventories dropped by minus 1.4 million barrels in the week to July 12th. This was the fifth consecutive drawdown released by the API, while also notable is the fact that oil prices lost ground upon release of the news. Analysts claim that the expectations of a higher drawdown led to crude oil dropping, yet that's something that we would like to remain neutral upon. As a conclusion, if the instability in the Middle East restricts other OPEC countries, oil activities, then they could be forced to take further action and change their approach on the current oil trade. Traders looking to capitalize from the matter or even form decisions should be cautious, as it may take time for the smoke to clear regarding what exactly is happening with Tehran and how much progress, if any, has been made. For more in-depth investigation, please refer to our written report, which also includes technical analysis. For more information and trading ideas, you can visit our webpage, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Angelo Zitis from RNFX wishing you solid trading.